at the start of the film Sadie Rhodes, decides to drive to the mountains to cope with the loss of a co-worker. Later on, Sadie receives a call from Dr. Claudia Yates, who offers her help in dealing with her loss. During their conversation, Sadie mentions that she and her co-worker were similar, both lonely except for the fact that the other employee had a houseplant and she did not. Meanwhile, in another part of town, Cole Turner works at a farmer's market and helps a store owner sell plants. Cole is upset because his ex-girlfriend, Fiona, broke up with him. Despite encouragement from others, Cole remains fixated on his failed relationship. Some people attribute the separation to his neediness. While driving to Cole's hometown, Sadie stops at the farmer's market and asks for a low-maintenance plant. Cole interprets this as a sign that Sadie is not needing other people's emotional needs. Furthermore, Cole is incredibly passionate about farming and becomes frustrated when he realizes that Sadie probably won't take good care of the plant. So he instantly refuses to sell it to her and offers her a tiny cactus instead, belittling her. She can't believe what she just heard and calls him rude. The store clerk arrives and sells her the plant, and she admits to Cole that she believed they were flirting earlier. Cole changes his mind and approaches Sadie's car, and as he taps on her window, the vehicle stops abruptly and crashes her plant. He invites her out for a coffee, and though hesitant at first, she agrees to his invitation. They embark on a day-long date, strolling around town while talking about their personal lives. Cole brings Sadie to the steps where The Exorcist was filmed, as he regards it as the scariest film. Sadie says that she chooses not to be afraid of anything. Cole uses his inhaler before starting the race. They race each other, and Sadie outpaces Cole by running quickly. Nonetheless, he is attracted to her and perceives her as a rebound, perhaps as a result of the law of opposites attract. They arrived at her house and couldn't resist the temptation to spend the night together. The next day, he went home feeling happy and immediately told his parents about meeting the perfect woman who he believes is the one. His sister, Maddie, criticized his neediness, while Maddie found a picture of him and Sadie from the previous night on his phone and called him creepy. Despite his numerous attempts to contact Sadie, she did not respond, and Maddie commented on how hopeless he appeared to be after seeing his numerous texts. In an attempt to get a response from Sadie, he ignored Maddie's remark and continued to text her, but she continued to ghost him, and he refused to believe it. He then remembered leaving his inhaler with Sadie and used its tracking device to locate her. Maddie criticized his stalker-like actions, but he was unconcerned as he saw it as genuine love. His mother described him as a hopeless romantic and encouraged him to fly to London to meet Sadie. Despite never having traveled abroad before, he took the leap and arrived in London, calling a cab to the GPS location where Sadie was supposed to be. Cole came to a stop near the pen and began circling the area to look for Sadie. Suddenly, three menacing individuals surrounded him and used a taser on him. When Cole regained consciousness, he found himself in a cave-like setting, where a man named Borislav referred to him as a taxman and repeatedly asked for the passcode. Cole, who was troubled by the situation, kept insisting that he only came to London to see a girl and had no idea what Borislav wanted from him. However, Borislav threatened to punish him with deadly bees if he did not disclose the code. In the nick of time, someone burst in and started shooting everyone, including Borislav. When the shooter removed the cover on their face, Cole had no idea what was going on. She confessed that she was a CIA operative and helped him escape the cave. To his surprise, he found himself in Pakistan. She rescued him from the adversaries in an action-packed scene, found a bus, and shifted into reverse to avoid the gunfire coming from both sides. Cole's perception of her was altered by her brutal murder of their enemies. He found it unbearable to consider loving this woman. Levesque enters the cave to speak with Wagner, the person in command, regarding the passcode. Cole is seen by them as the taxman, so they both decide to find him. Sadie is working hard to protect Cole, insisting that she didn't lie to him during their travels. However, Cole continues to provoke her by bringing up her colleague Elena, who she revealed she killed because she was a spy for their enemies and had committed terrible deeds against innocent people. Later, Sadie takes Cole to a local market to introduce him to her colleague Marco. During their conversation, Marco brings up their past romantic relationship, which makes Cole feel angry and jealous. He questions why Sadie involved herself with him, and she responds by saying that he was a mistake, which deeply hurts Cole. Despite this, Cole learns that Sadie was not in the cave to rescue him, but rather to stop someone who had stolen a deadly Aztec biological weapon. 
Sadie requests that her friend slash ex-boyfriend send Cole safely back to the U.S. because she will be dealing with a dangerous individual. She instructs him not to contact her again, which Cole takes personally. As they are about to depart, Marco, who is confident in his ability to protect Cole, is shot by a bounty hunter who was there for the tax man. The bounty hunter wants to speak with Cole, and both Sadie and Cole are held at gunpoint. Another hunter kills the previous one, only to be killed by yet another hunter called the Leopard. Sadie holds the hunter at gunpoint and demands to know where he plans to send Cole. She decides to take Cole in a Toyota and they travel, while Cole complains about Sadie's violent and gun-filled lifestyle. He also keeps asking her about the significance of the passcode. Sadie realizes that if Levac is searching for the taxman, he may not have the passcode to the case containing the Aztec biological weapon. She changes her plan and decides to recover the weapon instead. She asks Levac if he trusts her and then knocks him out. When he wakes up, he finds out that Sadie is offering the taxman to the terrorists in exchange for money. Her real plan is to use the opportunity to retrieve the bomb and boards in the aircraft with Wagner, Levac's right-hand man, and his crew. The plan goes wrong as Wagner discovers a picture of Sadie on Cole's phone, which he had taken without her knowledge. Wagner assumes that Sadie and Cole are romantically involved and urges her to ask Cole for the passcode. As he threatens them, Sadie claims to have it in her pocket but instead uses a ring to activate her tasers, causing Wagner to faint. Cole and Sadie fight off their enemies and, but Sadie gets shot. She instructs Cole to find a parachute and leave with the bomb. However, Cole refuses to leave her behind and carries her in his arms while taking Levac's case with them. Later, on an island near the Arabian Sea, Sadie found herself in a tense situation. She was thankful for Cole's bravery in retrieving the bomb, as she now had the Aztec suitcase but still didn't know the passcode. She sent a secret message to the CIA. The next morning, Wagner arrived on the island with soldiers. CIA agents arrived on the shore, and after gunfire, they transported Cole and Sadie back to CIA headquarters in Virginia, where they were interrogated. Unfortunately, they were not successful in obtaining the Aztec case. Agent Monty Jackson confronted Sadie about involving Cole in the case compromising her assigned mission by going rogue and introducing a potential threat. Meanwhile, Agent Patty tried to get Cole to turn against Sadie by showing him the number of people she had killed over the past six months. However, Cole rejected their offer because he believed that Sadie was inherently kind, despite having caused numerous deaths due to the nature of her work as a CIA agent. Cole noticed a plant near Elena's lifeless body and made a significant deduction. He realized that the DNA encryption of the plant was the passcode. Cole recounted how the Aztec communities used this plant, known as Amaranth, frequently in their rituals. Sadie discovered that Horvath, the scientist who invented the Aztec contraption, had an obsession with the concept of sacrifice. She convinced the CIA that this was the right moment to lure Levac by having the taxman in this case, Cole, send part of the passcode and thus meet to seize the Aztec case. The CIA told Sadie to go home as she was dismissed from the Aztec case. Yadami Levesque, the boss who was primarily interested in having the bomb in the code, became impatient with Levac due to the delay in receiving the passcode. He threatened to murder Levac if he did not obtain it soon. Levac received communication from the CIA and went to a high-rise restaurant to meet with Cole, the taxman. Monty and his men waited outside to secure Cole's safety. Monty informed Cole that he must complete the task to ensure the security of his family, raising the stakes for him. Suddenly, Levesque's troops opened fire on the agents outside the structure. Monty told Cole to leave immediately. It was too late. Cole stalked the conversation for as long as he could, hoping that Sadie would appear to help him. He refused to give Levac the passcode he didn't have. Mr. Yadami grew impatient, and Levac pointed a revolver at Cole. Sadie defied orders from her boss and claimed she was there to protect someone she loved. After Sadie entered the passcode, the case opened, and the Aztec artifact was revealed. Although Sadie was paid for her part, Levac threatened to kill both her and the taxman. Sadie informed Levac that she had used the $10 million payment to hire bounty hunters to eliminate him and his men. As they all fought over the weapon, Wagner attacked Sadie. Cole responded with a counterattack and dragged Wagner out of the room. A fight ensued, and Cole used his wrestling skills to his advantage. Meanwhile, the top floor started malfunctioning and began to rotate. Levac and Sadie struggled to keep possession of the weapon, and they found themselves in a dangerous situation as they teetered on the edge of falling. Just as things looked dire, prompting Sadie to make a risky move to recover the Aztec weapon. 
In the scuffle, Levak fell, but Cole and Sadie managed to avoid being pushed out of the shattered windows. After everything was sorted out, Sadie and Cole began dating. Despite their differences, they happily accepted each other as they were. Sadie continued to maintain her cover as an art curator to Cole's family, and people were glad to see that he had found love. The movie concludes with the couple going out on a date. Thanks for joining me for this movie recap. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the subscribe button for more movie recaps. See you in the next video.